Before this video starts, I'd just like to make an announcement. I have the Liberal Tears mug uh, for $14.99 on my website. It is the first link in the description if you want to go pick one up. Um, don't worry if it breaks when it comes to your house. I'll send you another one for free out of my pocket. I don't care. I want you to get your Liberal Tear mug. Uh, it comes in uh, Liberal Tears white with the face, black with the face, white without the face, and black without the face. So pick whichever one you want, and it'll come to your door uh, in about three to five days. So that should be epic. First thing in the description, thank you. Let's go on with the video. It's entitled Demonic. Anne said some outrageous comments about single mothers. And Anne, I really want to welcome you, but I don't get this about the single mothers. They should give up their kids for adoption. Oh, definitely. That's what the statistics are. I mean, not once they're 14, but a woman who gets pregnant out of wedlock, if she wants to do the best thing for the child, it is overwhelming that she should give the child up for adoption because the statistics both from the left and the right are overwhelming on what happens to illegitimate children. About 70% of juvenile delinquents, teenage runaways, pregnancies out of wedlock are committed by the children of, of single mothers. If you were in the womb right now and you could choose whether to be black, white, um, rich, poor, the one thing you should hope for as a child in the womb is my parents are married. Okay, I understand that that gives stability and, and all kinds of emotional strength to a child. What I don't get, though, is that we're singling out the single mothers, pardon the right. redundancy, but we're not talking about these absent fathers. Well, where are these absent guys? I mean, these moms are doing a heroic job. I mean, they're out there, they're working sometimes two jobs, they're getting their kids through school, they're feeding them, and the dads are nowhere to be found and nobody's attacking them. No one's celebrating them either. I am responding to a culture out of Hollywood, the courts, the, 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 the elite media that is promoting single motherhood. They are not promoting single fatherhood or deadbeat dads. What do you say to women who say, you are demonizing single moms? Um, all I'm doing is citing statistics. It's what works is the nuclear family. Now, sometimes that isn't going to happen. I mean, I do make a, a lot point of, times of it's saying. Not happen. I mean, that's, that's part of the reason that why I'm hot under the collar. Well, There's so many great moms that are trying to be mom and dad to their kids. I know that they cannot be emotionally mom and dad. Well, but they really are going out of their way to provide for their kids. Look, it's one thing, as I say, a single mother is something different from a divorced mother. Single mother specifically refers to a woman who A, gets pregnant out of wedlock, and B, decides for narcissistic reasons, I'm going to keep this child for myself because if she cares what's best for the child, she will give the child up for adoption. Don't and that is a fact. No, you think that's very judgmental? I think, I mean, judgmental, I think, it's a fact. I think you're talking about maybe the Casey Anthony's of the world, you know, where there's all this neglect that we can all see obviously the jury did not see it but there's a lot of controversy with mothers that are that way that go out and party that do this that do that and are not really responsible not for their children but a lot of single moms are being responsible with their children and yet and yet the statistics still are if you look at it from the end of the spectrum of who ends up in jail who ends up a murderer who ends up a teenage runaway who ends up getting pregnant out of wedlock herself who ends up a rapist about 70 percent according to both the village voice and all these conservative um pro-family groups are going to be the children of single mothers i mean that is simply a fact now imagine an america with 70 percent fewer teenage runaways fewer teenage murders fewer teenage drug addicts fewer teenage pregnancies that's what single mothers have created and like i say if you want what's best for your child if you are pregnant out of wedlock either marry the father and by the way Shotgun marriages used to work just fine, but we've gotten rid of the stigma of a woman having a child See, out of wedlock. See, but the problem is, it's good to get rid of those stigmas, no. because we would put people always in a box. You know, this is the way you have to be, this is the way it works out. And you know, this is not an ideal world, and you're talking about an ideal world. Oh, in, in an ideal world, by the way, everyone has a mom and dad. We're going back, you know, to the days of happy days. You know, most of our when young people don't know what that is. the kids turned out a lot better. Well, and they were given every but, advantage in life. Stigmas are good things. Look, are, we have a stigma against smoking. Who are the single because mothers of today? smoking is bad for you. Think but about But smoking it. is not as bad for you as being raised by a single mother. And yet, we have... We do have stigmas, and they're good things. Say stigmas that, uh, against that. smoking, and yet smoking is not as bad for you as single motherhood. And there ought to How be... How do you come to that conclusion? I've just cited the statistics over and over one again. Kills, one kills you. We know that smoking kills you. One destroys a life. You don't think smoking destroys lives? 
maybe when you're 70, you have an increased chance of getting lung cancer. You're talking about what happens to children when they are not raised with a mother and father. Basically, every women's magazine is talking about, oh, pre um, single mothers by choice, where women go and get, get artificially inseminated because they decide, oh, my clock is ticking, I want to have a baby, I don't care if I found a man in time. That is narcissistic, it is selfish, and it is not taking the interest of the child at heart at all. And you don't hear that coming from any, anybody else, so I am the counterweight citing the facts on single motherhood. Sometimes it happens, I wish them the best. But you And I can't imagine how much hate mail you've gotten from single mothers. Um, that's funny that you think I read my mail. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, I think that when you, when you say things like that and you kind of make these blanket statements based on statistics, I say to myself, gosh, I know so many good single mothers, so many heroic single mothers, I just can't agree with you on that. I really can't. I wish them the best in their particular circumstance, but for everyone to keep their lips zipped, that's why you end up with an illegitimacy rate that has gone through the roof and is harming children and is creating two separate classes in America. She's certainly contrary controversial, my friends. We're going to take a break. Uh, this is the new book, Demonic, by Ann Coulter. And even though I'm more hot under the collar now, we'll be back with Ann. We're back with the always controversial Ann Coulter. And this audience wants to get in on this conversation. My first question is for you. Um, do you have any children? Not relevant to statistics. Okay, because you're... S for me, I've seen, not only my family, I have a ton of friends who are single mothers. And the way they raise their children they give them the most love that even two parents can give them. I'm raised in a family with two parents. And, you know, you don't know what it's like sometimes to have two parents. Sometimes, some people, it's worse to have two parents. I agree. You'd rather have just one par parent who gives you all that love than two parents who are constantly arguing, who they've been together for years and they're miserable. And you don't, what? you can't speak for everybody. You live, you're speaking about statistics. Right. You have to live it in order to understand it, well, not just by statistics. Yeah. Um, and sometimes Derek Cheater strikes out. And yet, he's still a great baseball player because we look at overall how many times at bats, how many times a home run. When you have 70% of the children in juvenile delinquent institutions co coming from single parent homes, um, yes, I'm sure some single mothers do a terrific job and I'm sure there are some, some two parents who do a terrible job. And yet, the statistics are the statistics. And we have more from the audience. Uh, you keep saying, you know, statistics, statistics, but anybody can make up a statistic. That's why I mean, there's so many of them, from both the left and from the right, you, and for 30 years Where do you now. think it's okay to, like, to say all this? Okay, I mean, you I know what, you may as well stand up. My mother was a single mom, and I'm getting, like, emotional. That's fine. You're saying what you feel. I can't talk now. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, you may as well stand up and say, I'm a smoker and I'm very upset about the smoking statistics and Can don't you, you tell me about lung cancer. The oh, well. statistics and are the statistics. Nice. She's talking about something important to her. So is smoking yeah. and people dying of smoking and so is people go being ahead. raised by single mothers. I, I don't understand. Standing up and saying, I'm a single mother and you can't say that is not an argument. Tell her about your mom. I didn't say that I was a single mother. I come from a single family. Okay, I'm you're not a you rapist. Came from a don't yell at me about what the smoking statistics are. We're not talking about smoking, lady. We're talking about single parents. We're talking about something far more important than smoking, I feel. Yes, as I said, it's more damaging to a child. So for you to even put those two together is ridiculous. I know you're saying this stuff, but do you think about it before you say it? No, oh. just shoot off at the mouth. Okay. <laughs> It's a chapter of my last book. It has the studies there if you're interested. It is study after study. No, I'm just shooting off the top of my head what, I, what comes into my mind. Actually, um, I'm a minor, and I come from a single family, single mother, okay? And I was raised really well. I'm doing really well. I'm going to school. I'm doing what I need to do to make it in life, and I'm pretty sure I'll probably be making more money than you. Only because I'm not just famous for stating a horrible opinion, mm. not a statistic. Um, look, the point is not um, what has happened to children who have been raised by single mothers already. 
Wish you the best. The point is to influence choices going forward. But now, Anne, are you serious are. about this? Because everyone here is outraged in this audience. I mean, you are citing statistics. I know that they're credible. But what we're hearing here is you kind of focused this approach. You know, anti-single mothers. Do you really believe all of that stuff? Who's the Christian here, Father? I care about I, the children. I, I care oh, about how care. they are raised. Yes, so care about all of and for care you about to be encouraging too. women to yeah. have children out first of wedlock of all, and discouraging them all. from being sent and to nice yeah. adoptive homes, I find shocking. First of all, you are nobody to pass judgment because half of us didn't even know who you were until today. Second, I am I a single mother. Less. And I am a great parent. I own a business. I go to school full time. My daughter is smart. She is happy. I'm a mother and a father. And I am great parents. We should be questioning how well adjusted you are. Oh. Yeah. Oh. First of all, I agree with what the girl just said, and I'm a single mother as well. I have a 15-year-old daughter. We can talk to Anne without the personal attacks, right? I think we need to be balanced here and not take it from one extreme to the other, because then, you know, we're blaming her for doing something that now we're doing ourselves, and we're going back and forth, and perhaps part of the problem we have in our society today is we can't debate and talk to people who think differently than we do, and that's part of the issue here. Yes. Okay, with that said, I am a single-year-old daughter, private school, ever since she was in the kindergarten I hold it down no welfare no nothing I work full-time she goes to school full-time she wants to go to Harvard distinguished honor roll I mean so is that directed towards me being a single mother as well I come from a two-parent family myself but I do very well with my child no help just me and I do own a business and the as father well. was totally absent what father <laughs> See, I and this is my, my issue, and I think that we've talked about this during the break. I was asking you, what about all these absent dads? Do you ever say anything about them? I think I've answered that. We don't have a society and a culture that celebrates them and encourages fathers to leave the women they have impregnated. When you start having movies and glamour magazines and the court system glamorizing deadbeat dads but in fact we call them deadbeat dads and when, when I wish start... single mothers all the luck in the world um, very helpful having you all stand up and insult me I, I, you are proving to me that you are fantastic mothers um, okay a I don't know where you're getting your statistics B I think if you're not the one carrying that child for nine months and feeling that baby kick inside you you know it's easy for you to say when you're not that person carrying that baby and see I, my mom was a single mom she, I never met my dad he went bye-bye never met him she raised me she was the mom she was the dad I never wanted for anything she gave me everything I had I am 36 years old I have a family of my own now I have a 12 year old and I'm back in school now I'm very successful so I really don't know where you're getting this I just don't know how you expect me to answer when I have a full chapter of this book with every footnote ex telling you where I got it. You want to know where I got it? You can look up the stuff. Hey guys, it's Jacob Honeycutt. We're live on Facebook with a Trump supporter, or sorry, Trump supporter and a Trump <laughs> hater. Oh, that's right, because we don't belong in our, we don't have a right to defend our borders. Do you lock your doors at night? Well, why do you do that? You should open your doors at night. I, I, would like come in and sleep on your, I don't care. I would like to come into your house and sleep on your couch. Sir, why don't I like to get some food out of your fridge? Can you please leave your door open Absolutely. tonight? Absolutely. You will? Absolutely. Absolutely. Will you give me your address so Just I can get some food? I might be hungry. For I, I, I am, I, I am unemployed. I am an unemployed veteran. I would love some free food. Absolutely. I would love a place to sleep tonight. What would you like? I'll just give you your address. address. Right. You gotta, you gotta, my address. Why not? Because I but don't, you can lock your doors. I don't know you. Well, then you don't know Mexicans that are coming across the border with drugs and stuff like that. So, but we can trust that. them. I'm not denying that. So, you have no valid point whatsoever. What else is he preached about hate? When has he ever said, I hate you? No? Nothing? 
Silence is good. I'm not going to argue with someone. It's not arguing. I'm not going to change debate. your opinion. So you have your ideas, and I have I my ideas. I am not ideas. going to change your in opinion, In a free society, sir. I can spot off my ideas, and you come back I am yours. not so going to change your opinion, sir. Exactly. So I'm trying to figure out where he is and where it takes you. What's he said to take I am not trying to change your opinion, sir. You're right. never going to. I'm just trying to figure out why you don't think it's I am not trying to change your opinion. Is that your go-to, Brian? That's just it? I am not trying to change your opinion. You are entitled to believe what you would like to. I'm not trying to change yours. Like to. You can be hateful all you want. I'm just trying to you figure are, out. You are entitled to huh? believe in what you want. I... That's not. I'm just trying to figure out. I didn't even say who I was voting for. Not once. I have been standing out here for two hours, and not once have I said who I was voting for. I didn't. I know that. I can tell that. I'm just asking what what Trump has said that's hateful. There are a lot of things that he said. That's Give two examples. A vote for hate. I'm just wondering why you're trying to change our votes. Because he's a racist. How is he KKK racist? When has he ever said anything? The like KKK that? endorses. What if I told you there's a picture? Hey, take a, a take a look at this guy. We got a bus driving by that says Trump hates. Are you with him? What if I told you the KKK was formed by the Democratic Party to stop Republicans? I don't disagree with you. Oh yes, I never said Trump that. Trump endorses the Democratic Party. So so what has he said? I I'm saying that Donald people. Trump stands for hate. Okay, that's what you say, but can you prove it with facts? No? Look at the news headlines. The sky is perfect. <laughs> Look at the news Look at the news headlines. <laughs> Look at the, oh right, I should believe Look the mainstream media. Look at every single thing. The left, the left. Okay, I agree with you on that one. I always agree with you on that one. Wow. Have you ever seen, uh, you know who Tyler Durden is? Well, this conversation is over. Have a good night, okay? Hey, you know what? Have a good night. Be safe. Can you tell live on Facebook why you don't support Donald Trump? Because he's a racist. Can you give two examples of why Donald Trump is a racist? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> All right, those of you who are watching, we are live downtown at the Trump rally. <laughs> there are thousands of people in line to see Donald. We've seen quite a few protesters. As we get closer to the Midland Theater, we're going to see a lot more as we hear there are many in front of the theater. So we're going to go uh, see that as soon as the line starts to move. I'm Jacob Honeycutt, and we'll be back soon. Stopping by to remind you that liberals are insane. <laughs> Social justice warriors are becoming more violent and triggered than ever before. Anyways, be sure to subscribe to KGP TV on YouTube and have a blessed day. Yeah, man.